And this is a goat curry, but you could also substitute this for lamb or for chicken thigh or leg meat. And a lot of the curries I make are kind of evening meal type curries. But this is a much lighter curry. I think it's called an ishtu. So often eaten for breakfast, but we're into our porridge for breakfast at the moment. So this is going to be a lovely lunch dish that can sit in the fridge so we can help ourselves to a lovely bowl of warm and curried stew at any lunchtime during the week that we fancy it. So I'm going to make a note of all the ingredients that I'm using below and the recipe that I've adapted this from too. And I'll just serve this with some pita breads, but you could also serve it with some rice. So let's do it. And the first stage of this dish is to marinate the goat's meat. So I've got my diced goat meat here. So it's marinating in a fresh ginger paste with white wine vinegar and a little bit of oil. And that's been sitting in the fridge for a couple of hours. You could easily prepare it the day before and marinate it overnight too. So whatever works. I don't know if you can hear, but the puppy's just running backwards and forwards. So you might hear the pitter patter of tiny puppy claws running across the kitchen floor as we do this. Okay, so I'm going to start by just adding the turmeric to the goat so that the spices get a little bit of cooking when we come to brown the meat. Oh, this is a fresh batch of turmeric and it smells absolutely amazing. Okay, so we put that to one side and let's start cooking in the instant pot. So we start by putting the instant pot on saute high. I'm using the Instant Pot Duo Crisp, but you could use any Instant Pot for this. And we've got a tablespoon of coconut oil. So now we're going to add in our whole spices. So we've got four cardamom pods. Six cloves. We've got some fennel seeds. Some whole black peppercorns. And we've got two bay leaves and I've got half a stick of cinnamon. You could easily use one or two sticks of cinnamon for this, but that's what I've got. So that's what we're using. And we'll just give those a bit of a stir. Whoa, before they start popping, which is right now. And then we're going to add in some onion. So that's a medium white onion that's so chopped. And we've got two chilies from the garden. These are whole chilies. I've just made a little slit in them with a knife. Let some of that goodness out. You can adjust this to your taste, of course. And we're gonna add some ginger. So we've got that match sticked. That is there. And now we're going to brown our meat. So we're going to add in all of that marinated goat with the turmeric coating on it. And, oh, we've got a lot of steam. And you can really smell those aromatics now as the goat begins to brown. The main way I've eaten goat in this country anyway is um, Caribbean style curry. So this is a new one for me. And I love all kinds of spiced foods. Goat has a really good protein content. Now we're going to cook this curry in two stages. Uh, this is pre-diced goat and the pieces are pretty large. So I'm going to do the first stage of cooking for maybe 25 minutes. And then the second stage, we'll be adding in some potatoes and carrots. And we'll do that final stage cooking from there, all in the instant pot. Okay, so now that meat is nicely browned off, I'm going to add in a cup of stock here. Still slightly frozen, so that's some of my homemade stock. You can use veggie stock, chicken stock, whatever you've got. And then I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of white pepper. So this gives it a really nice heat different kind of heat to the chilli. And that's it for our first stage. So we'll cancel that saute and get the Instant Pot lid on. And we're going to cook it on pressure cooker high for about 25 minutes. Press start. And that's it for stage one. So let's go and see what this little monkey is up to. So 
we're going to let out the steam using the fast release then add our final ingredients and set the instant pot away again so watch out for the steam so that's all of the steam released and you can see that that is beautifully cooked now let's have a taste mm. Oh, those spices are delicious. And then we're for our second stage cooking, I've got two carrots diced into the pot, two medium potatoes. If you've got waxy potatoes, they'd be perfect, but I've only got these old potatoes and they will do. They will probably break up more than I would like, but we just use what we've got. So a quick stir, back on with the lid. And we're going to put the instant pot on pressure cook high again, this time just for five minutes. And quick release. And check everything is cooked. Yeah, carrots and potatoes all beautifully tender now. And then in the final step, I'm going to add a can of coconut milk. So we'll just pour that in really add to the richness of the dish and give that a stir through and we've got some with the meat the potato and the carrot and that lovely liquor mm. oh this is really good it's very subtle kind of fragrant spices so just perfect for a lunchtime or a breakfast dish so that's my Instant Pot goat curry recipe. Super easy, even managed to get it done despite the puppy running up and down at 100 miles an hour. And the rest can go into portion sizes in the fridge, ready to heat up in the week. And if you don't get through it all, it freezes well too. So I hope you give this one a go. And if you'd like to see more curry recipes, take a look over here and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.